Mikhail Baryshnikov, a dance legend, if ever there was one, has lived a life in the spotlight, on stage, and off. He's in conversation with Anthony Mason. In a new adaptation of The Cherry Orchard at the Baryshnikov Art Center in New York, the center's namesake is playing an old servant. Three degrees below zero, and the cherry blossoms all in bloom. I'm almost 75, and I'm playing 85 years old. You know? <laughs> OK. <laughs> the white hair is for his character named Fears. It's bleached, you know. <laughs> it's not mine yet. <laughs> One of the world's most acclaimed dancers, Mikhail Baryshnikov, has worked only occasionally as an actor, most notably an Oscar-nominated performance in the 1977 film The Turning Point. Are you going to be all right? Don't worry about him. He'll be all right. I have a little secret for you. You know, I think it's perfectly all right to be nervous. And then a uh, quarter pounder with cheese. And uh, playing Carrie Bradshaw's Russian boyfriend on that? Sex and the City. Can you handle it? Absolutely. But he learned from some of the best. James Cagney, he was a good friend of mine. And he always thought, I said, James, how you play? I said, Listen, what the person is telling you, and then they tell him back the truth. And if you're not dumb, you observe. <laughs> he has a certain, some sort of a light that, that, or some sort of a presence that uh, is extremely unique. So what's that like as a director? There's no way to control it. <laughs> Ukrainian-born Igor Galyak is directing the Soviet-born actor in this Russian classic. Baryshnikov has another role as playwright Anton Chekhov in the virtual production. In Chekhov's play, the matriarch of a family, played by Jessica Hecht, faces financial troubles and has to face selling their beloved orchard. If the estate is sold, it doesn't matter. I must look truth straight in the eye. The orchard, in the bigger sense of the word, one of the characters says, all of Russia is our orchard. It's very relatable right now. There's a complete loss of Russia right now. As Golyak was planning the production, Russia invaded Ukraine. His family had left Kiev for Boston back in 1990, when he was just 11. But when this war started, you know, something in the stomach started, like, twisting. And it just hurts. How has it been for you to watch what's happening in Ukraine? Uh, horrific. I just now we have a, yeah. uh, shivers, you know, about it. Baryshnikov made headlines around the world when he defected from the Soviet Union in 1974. Does it seem a long time ago? <laughs> no, it's been so. It's been very fast. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> you never wanted to go back to Russia. No, somehow, maybe instinctively, I knew that one day something like that would happen. In his Soviet years, as a principal dancer with the Kirov Ballet, Baryshnikov was privileged to travel, but he was watched. You were usually followed by KGB agents when you went, yes? Yes, but they were guys who were a couple of guys always you knew them by the names you know yeah. and uh, sometimes we have a coffee with them you know yeah. uh, it was like yeah. okay we had the nicknames for them you know <laughs> <laughs> it was just, uh, so it wasn't that intimidating you know, it was this, uh, of course they have a yeah. many different faces yes. you know. but in 1974 while touring with the Bolshoi ballet in Toronto Baryshnikov slipped away. Where is Mr. Baryshnikov now? He is in Canada. <laughs> Days after his defection, he appeared at a dance studio in Toronto. He wouldn't discuss his defection with newspeople today, and he wouldn't attend a news conference after his short exhibition. You've tried not to be political over the years. Mm -hmm. But you've made a point now with what's happening in Ukraine to say something. I, I couldn't stay silent this time. I was born in Soviet, that time, Soviet Latvia. 
in the family of military officer. His father, a Soviet colonel, was a Stalinist. It was his mother who introduced him to the arts in Riga, the Latvian capital. At age six or seven, the first time I, my mother took me to see ballet and it's an orchestra playing in this beautiful theater. And it's got me, got me. <laughs> in 2017, Barishnikov was given Latvian citizenship. It means something. And my mother is buried there. And that's why back to your question about why now, that idea that um, I would say Russian tanks would go again uh, to Baltics. You're afraid for Latvia. I'm afraid for uh, all that part of the world and uh, because I am part of it. Recently, he co-founded the charity True Russia to raise money for Ukrainian refugees. When Russia banned its website earlier this month, Barishnikov addressed an open letter to President Putin. Your Russian world, the world of fear, he wrote, will not live on as long as there are people like us. What did you think when Putin said Russians who support the West are scum and traitors? You know, this is disgusting. Do you think of this as Russia's war or Putin's war? It is Putin's war. He's trying to create new history of Russia. He, he does not care about people at all. Although how it's possible, he has a kids himself. You know, how it's possible. Russians who speak out against him have a way of kind of disappearing. Listen, I, I, I will be 75 years old. What I have to lose? <laughs> My old master, that would be your grandfather. As he performs in the orchard, Mikhail Barishnikov says the role of the arts is to inspire and engage. It's an oxygen. And his most important job is here, at the art center that bears his name. Why is it the most important job? It's a social service. I've been honored to make my home in New York. I, I love this country with all craziness, mm. but there is nothing better than uh, be a free man and living with your family in free society and uh, in this extraordinary city.